job, boys. So, real quick, Cheesy. I'm gonna lay this all out. Okay. I read the comment section on the last video I uploaded, or a few videos ago. This video is gonna be a part two of this guy right here. Cheesy. Correct me if I'm wrong. I stood up all night crying, reading your guys' comments, your hateful comments, about how this is an expensive death trap and how, oh, no more than you. Well, here, I'm, I'm here to show you guys. This is nine mil, so this is for a different gun. Come show them real quick. We got Winchester target practice. We got some blazer center, uh, center fire brass casing. We have some more Winchester USA. We have some Federal, which is what I usually shoot out of it. Okay. We have some aluminum casing, laser, and we have some Sig Sawyer. This, this was expensive. YouTube keeps deleting my videos. And they keep saying, the reasoning that they're using is they're saying that I'm teaching people how to make firearms or make ammunition or I'm doing Quack. shit like that or I'm trying to sell you guys nothing. So I'm going to stop telling you guys the prices um, just because I think that's why I try to reach out to them to see why they keep deleting my Quack. shit. But they don't, they're not telling me. So what we're going to do here today, I have some magazines. We're going to do about a magazine of each one. And I'm going to prove to you numb nuts that it isn't my optic. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in on the optic, Cheesy. Okay. So we're going to do that. Let's sh let's show them. I did br I did bring some more steel, but unfortunately, let's let's turn around and show them what we got here. Let's do a little target walk here. So you guys have seen this one. You guys are familiar with that. You guys know all about this little guy. Let me move these weeds. Ugh. And then I bought these from uh I bought these online, Amazon, and then I bought this from Cabela's. I there was only two of them, and I thought that they'd be sturdy enough to hold one, but they're not sturdy enough, so I, I'm only able to hold up one at this time. So let's go ahead and get into some shots here. Alright, boys, first magazine right here. 15 rounds. This is hollow point. Now, this is like a concoction of Mind you, this is a part two, boys. So if you haven't seen the first one, I recommend going and watching the first one. I will uh, drop a link in the description or I'll, I'll pin it to the end of the video. This is a concoction of those hollow points that I have. Just like Hornady, different type of Hornady, and like some other random one that I got in a trade. So we're going to do a first, uh, first magazine dump. This will be like conclusive of basically what I run. On a day-to-day -day basis for self-defense, right? Let's see if it jams up. There's 15 of them, okay? I just flinched so hard. <clears throat> Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see the gun? Yeah. You're 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 perfect where you're at. Do I got a good jam? Come zoom in on this, Cheesy. We have a magazine for each and every ammo. We're going to work our way down from right to left, okay? So first, up first is the Winchester Target and Practice 230 grain FMJ. Like I said... I'm not gonna say prices, but it, because I think that's why YouTube ke keeps deleting my videos. Next is Winchester 230 grain flat nose FMJ. Okay, made in USA, made in USA. Um, Winchester has like a good reputation, right? They're they're a solid brand, so we I sh I don't expect to have no hangups on on the Winchesters. Now we have this Blazer ammunition, 230 grain brass. Uh, let's see how that performs. I don't really, I've shot this before. It's worked fine. Now the federal ammo, 230 grain. I think all of these are 230. 230, 230, 230, 230. Yeah, every single one of these is 230. 
The only one that's a little different is this Blazer ammunition here. It's a aluminum case. I'm gonna prove to y'all that aluminum is fine, just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and start from here and work our way down. We'll finish off with the Sig Sawyer. All right, Winchester, 230 green. We got 15 rounds, let's see how she performs. Not a single jet. USA ready. We're gonna see how that one performs, all right, Cheesy? Got you. How are we looking here? Looking good. Not a single jam. Blazer. Let's see how this guy performs. These are brass. All right, did you get a little bit of ricochet, Cheesy? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I got some too, low key. Not a single jam out of that one. We got Federal. This is what I usually run out of it. Let's see how this guy performs. Not a single jam, baby. So this is about mm. to be 75 rounds right here. These are the aluminum. Now there's this stigma in the community. For people who don't know a lot about firearms, there's this stigma that if you run like steel or brass, I mean steel or aluminum, you're gonna mess up your gun. That's not true. Let's see how this uh, aluminum performs, okay, Cheese? Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's hang up number one. Yep. What did that guy say, Cheesy? Uh, it's not failure to extract. It's failure to eject. Yeah. Shut the <laughs> f up. Living in your mama's basement. Come out here to the Wild Wild West and say that shit to my face. One out of 75? Yeah, so far, right? Because that was 75 rounds. So we're one for 75 so far. Is this Sig Sawyer. This is the most expensive out of the bunch here. Muzzle 830 feet per second. 325 feet per second. I don't, it doesn't say how far out though. I wonder how far out that is. Here's that cheesy. This is what they look like. Okay. So this will put us at a hundred, right? Yeah, hundred. No, no, I'm, I'm at, that's wrong. No, math. ninety. Ninety, yeah, because you're over at seventy-five, yeah, and that's yeah. fifteen. What is that? One for 90. One yeah. out of 90. Yeah. All right, boys. So what we're going to do, this is the same ammo from part one. Cheesy and I are loading up two magazines here and we're going to run it and see how they perform in comparison to all this other ammo. Because in the other video, we kind of went back and forth, right, Cheesy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's the ammo, it's the ammo. Because I've shot, like I said, over a thousand minimum through this uh, through this bad boy. And I've never had hangups like that. I've had hangups um, with the aluminum, but not as frequent as I did with, with this stuff. So we're going to run these two magazines. And this is the same ammo from part one, like I said. And we're going to see how it performs, okay? This is the ammo that I bought online. I'm not going to give the website because YouTube keeps deleting my shit. 
I got 15 in the first magazine and 15 in, the, in another magazine. Let's see how this performs, okay? No hang up. That's interesting. What does that mean, Cheesy? It is clear, as y'all can see. Let's try this. Uh, I'm going to load up this 21 round mag. 20 round mag. We have this 20 round mag made by Pro Mag. We're shooting the same what I call cheap ammo that I bought online. Let's see how it performs. This magazine doesn't catch the rack open for whatever reason. But yeah, no hangups, dude. Is it one of those situations when, like, the doctor's around, she knows that uh, we're testing her, and now she wants to act act right? Maybe. Right, let's 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 uh, let's talk about this. Let me pick this up. I gotta pick up all this brass too. This is how you uh, how not to treat your uh, your your prized possessions, boys. Come check this out, Judy. Let's take a look and see how this still performed. We already know this guy done got smacked up plenty of times from previous videos. Check out the holes here. That's not from today. I think that was from the 500 Smith & Wesson. Remember? Yeah, that was, yeah. But you can see this 45, it, it isn't doing a, it isn't doing a damn thing to, to this AR500 still. Come over here. Check this bad boy out. This is from the AK47 video. We haven't uploaded that one yet. Yeah. I haven't even edited that video yet, to be honest with you. But the 45 hasn't done pretty much anything. Now let's see how this guy's doing. Oh, look how cool this is. Look, they're everywhere. Oh, what? Oh, that is really cool. Look, they're everywhere. Check that out. I wonder... I wonder if these are the hollow points. Probably. Because look how they spread. Yeah. Check over there. Oh yeah, look, there's a few more right there. One, two. But um I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm I'm really impressed on how these guys performed. I'm kind of bummed out that um my other one's sitting there and I didn't get to use it. But next time I go to Cabela's, I'll just buy two more of these. Like I said, I can't. I'm not going to say the price because YouTube keeps deleting my videos, but these were very, very cheap. Like, probably less than what it would cost Cheesy to get uh, two double cheeseburgers, no pickles from Mickey D's. No, not that cheap, but it, it's, it's a fair price. Check out this steel. Didn't do nothing. Did we bring paint, Cheesy? No. All right, let's go talk about the uh, the performance of this FN. Today was a part two, like I mentioned, and the goal of the video was to prove to all you YouTube commenters and haters that it wasn't my optic. Now, let's talk about what happened on this first Winchester. Ate through them, right, Cheesy? Like nothing. Butter. Second Winchester, ate through them like nothing. And it actually tells you the. Does I have a good zoom in on the levers right there? Yeah. It means got a <sighs> Velocity 880 at the muzzle, 877 at five yards, and at 25 yards, 860. So this round's not going too fast, but it's a 45 ACP. Like I said, it's known as the Fat Boy, which is why I, uh, I'm very fond of this round, okay? Now we have the Federal. 
ate through it. Now, this is the only ammo that we got a issue with, right, Cheesy? Yep. We only did one magazine of it. It is aluminum casing. Now, to be fair, for all you haters that are like, it's the optic, it's the optic. If I didn't have this optic on, this firearm, it would have it would have ate through those aluminum casings just the same. The issue is for whatever reason that round isn't as spicy enough to kick this slide back and fully eject the spent casing but like i said if you didn't have if i didn't have this on then it'd be no issue but me buying this optic i know that i have to spend a little bit more money on better quality ammo and you saw literally just the aluminum uh jammed the uh one we used in the first video didn't even jam right cheesy not at all I shot They're 50, 51. 50, 50, right? Yeah. 20 plus, yeah, 20 plus 30. So 50 rounds of that and it didn't jam. 90 rounds of this, so that's 140. Out of 140 shots that we shot today, only the aluminum jammed. One time. One time. And it was like the first or second shot. Now, does it kind of give us a definite answer from the first video? I mean, we had a lot of, we had what, 21 was the count? Yeah. I don't know, man, but I'm just proving to all you commenting haters who live in your mama's basement that it ain't, it ain't the FN, baby. Don't, don't disrespect the FN. Maybe with, we need a part three. With the Trigicon. There might be a part three coming with this, okay? I might take this guy off. I might do a part three in terms of if this muzzle brake, uh, muzzle brake does anything. I, I might do a part three. You know what I mean? We'll see how it goes. But if you guys enjoyed this video... Make sure to subscribe. I don't care if you like it. Subscribe. Uh, send it to your mama. Send it to your girlfriend. And we'll catch y'all in the next one, baby. Yeah.